So I just updated my copy of Premiere from CS6 to the Creative Cloud version. And uh, I went ahead and kept Premiere CS6 on my computer because I wanted to do a short test. Uh, Premiere Creative Cloud, the new version, I'm going to call it Premiere CC, uh, it includes the option for OpenCL processing. OpenCL processing is similar to CUDA. I'm not going to get into the big, long technical description, but you know, as far as most people will be concerned, it's similar to CUDA, but it's on AMD cards. And again, that's a very, very simple definition of it. But uh, CUDA processing is something that NVIDIA cards have had for a long time, and it lets you use parallel processing of the graphics card to dramatically speed up renders. And I use CUDA processing at work, at my work computer. I have a 2500K uh, with a GTX 650, so not a huge CUDA card, but it does have a decent amount of processing umph to it, and uh, I use that for video renders, and I really like it. But at home, I have just been using Premiere CS6, and Sony Vegas, and without using OpenCL on either of them, because uh, Premiere CS6 did not support it. But now, Premiere CC does. So I decided to do a quick little uh, benchmark here with some renders and see what type of performance you might be able to expect from CC. So what I did was uh, I took a two minute long 1080p Arma 2 clip that I recorded and I rendered it out in Premiere CS6 and then I rendered it in CC and then I did a couple adjustments and went back and forth a few times uh, and this was my results. Now my rig is an FX8350 stock clocked at 4 gigahertz with a Sapphire Radeon 7950 3GB boost edition, uh, 16 gigs of RAM, some hard drives, monitors, and other things that don't really affect the render so I didn't leave them in there. Uh, so the first render I did was just straight 1080p, no effects, no filters, nothing, and CS6 was able to do that in two minutes in one second. So then I switched over to CC, Premiere CC with OpenCL processing, and I was able to complete the same render in one minute and 50 seconds. So that's a little bit of an improvement. You know, that's not huge, but uh, that's that would be a much bigger difference if you were, say, rendering out an hour-long video for some sort. You know, that, that would be a big deal. Uh, but for a two minute video, eh, it's a little bit of an improvement. So then I went back to CS6, took the same two minute long clip, and I put a bunch of random filters on it. I put like an edge glow, I put dust and scratches, um, I put a sharpen filter, um, I put a bunch of weird things like a, a solarize effect, a bunch of stuff on it, and then I rendered the same two minute clip in Premiere CS6, and it took four minutes and 44 seconds. So since OpenCL is supposed to really help with effects, I was really excited to try it out in Premiere CC. And so imagine my surprise when I ran the exact same render in CC and I got four minutes and 42 seconds. So a two second improvement, but not what I would call all that impressive. Uh, so I did a little research into why it wasn't really going that much quicker. And it turns out OpenCL processing is useful for effects, but it's mostly gonna be useful for specific types of effects which they don't really tell you when they're advertising how amazing uh, that OpenCL processing is supposed to be for you, but I digress. Um, so I went back to CS6 and I put on just color correction. I used the Luma color correction engine and did a medium color correction. I mean, the, the footage doesn't really need to be color corrected. It was a video game. It was already color correct, but uh, I just changed the color and I got a time of four minutes and two seconds in CS6. So this is no other filters. The only effect applied to it is just color correction. I took the same render to CC and I got a time of one minute and 59 seconds. So I would consider that to be a huge improvement. Uh, now my GPU was only being used about 25% utilization. I'm not sure if there's a way to make it use more than that, but it is a fairly beefy card. I don't know, maybe the software is not written to take a whole lot more advantage of it, uh, but that is half the time, less than half the time. So I think that's a significant improvement. And for my last test, I just wanted to see what would happen if I took the same color correction test and then upscaled the video. Cause I know uh, on my rig at work, my CUDA has a little bit of a problem upscaling it. it well, it does it fine, but it slows down a lot when you go to upscale. Um, so I took the CS6 clip color correction upscaled to 4k resolution and I got a time of 10 minutes and 11 seconds it went off the edge of my graph there and I didn't feel like drawing a longer line uh, and then I did the exact same thing in CC so color correction 4k resolution and I got 7 minutes and 52 seconds so still quite a bit longer than the 1080p clip 
Uh, but it does illustrate that uh, OpenCL is at least doing something. I mean, that would still be a significant difference if you're rendering an hour or two hour long clip. That is going to save you render time. So would I go out and buy a uh, an OpenCL card to use with Premiere CC? I don't think I would. Uh, just because unless you're doing mostly color correction and a few other very specific effects, you're not really going to save that much time. Um, so I'd probably stick with whatever you're happy with. Um, but if you uh, do a lot of color correction, I'd say it's something to look into. And if you already have an AMD graphics card, uh, there's no reason not to use it. Now, if you're wondering why didn't I compare this against CUDA, well, I don't have a comparable CUDA card to compare it against. I could compare it against the 650, but the 7950 is a much beefier card. So that wouldn't really be fair uh, for the GTX 650. So if you wanted to do a good comparison, I would say if someone has a GTX 670, which is a pretty comparable card to the 7950, uh, you want to mail it to me, I'll happily do all these tests with a 670 just to benchmark them against each other. But other than that, um, those are my results. So this isn't the most scientific of tests. This is really just me looking at real world usage scenarios uh, and seeing what type of performance I got. And for all you YouTubers who use Sony Vegas to render your clips, if you're wondering, well, how does Sony Vegas compare? It doesn't. Uh, it, the 1080p clip, just rendering out the two minute long section of it would take about five minutes, most likely. So, you know, Sorry, Sony Vegas just isn't that fast. But uh, thank you guys for watching and have a great day.